May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the power of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries and ask forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord God said to me, as for you, son of man, obey me when I speak to you. Be not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I shall give you. It was then I saw a hand outstretched out to me in which was a written scroll which he unrolled before me. It was covered with writing front and back and written on it was, Lamentation and wailing and woe. He said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll, then go speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he gave me the scroll to eat. Son of man, he then said to me, feed your belly and fill your stomach with this scroll I am giving you. I ate it, and it was, it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. He said, Son of man, go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, How sweet to my taste is your promise. Sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as all in riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet is my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet is my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste, to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritances forever, the joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Yeah, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that you, their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. We have a parishioner who will respond when asked, how are you? He will say, outstanding. For years after year, how are you? Outstanding. Of course, when he asks me how I am, I say, all right, okay, good. Tony will ask me in the morning, how are you? Okay, good, all right. Tony says, just okay, just good, not outstanding, sort of mocking this parishioner. And isn't it true when we ask one another, how are you, dear? All right, good morning, how are you, okay? But our readings today and yesterday remind us that even though we might be just okay, even if we're just good, just be, if we're just all right, if our bones and muscles are aching, we are still outstanding because we have this God who's like the shepherd that seeks out the lost. And how often we throughout our lives have been lost. That's why we have the sacrament of reconciliation. A good child a good adult, when they are hurt, what do we do? We go to our parents, we go to our spouse, we go to mom and dad, I need help. And that is the image that is placed before us by Jesus, that when the shepherd comes and seek us, we return, we are received, we are lifted up on his shoulders, we are impressed against the heart of the Lord. So even though we might just be okay and we feel all right, we are also spiritually outstanding because we have this God who is filled with love and mercy. However we are feeling today, physically, emotionally, mentally, may we give thanks to this God who is outstanding in his love and his mercy of you and I. We rise and pray for the needs of the church. 
For the church throughout the world, may God grant each of us the courage and perseverance to humbly trust in his plan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For local leaders, may God grant them prudence and wisdom to protect the most vulnerable in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all children, especially those who suffer abuse or neglect, may God provide people and resources to come to their protection and aid. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community gathered today, may God help us cultivate humility to accept his word with a childlike faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked as Christ's own forever, may they enter into the fullness of his kingdom, of, into the life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the deceased Ivan and Vi Driscoll on their wedding anniversary, uh, for which this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Almighty God, hear our prayers as we entrust them in the name of Jesus, the Lord, the Good Shepherd, who is risen from the dead and calls us into eternal life forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for our good and the good of all is holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Lift up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with angels and saints, we give you praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.
You are indeed holy, Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together at Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. <clears throat> forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace.
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. Almighty God, <clears throat> may the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us and confirm us in the light of your truth, we ask through Christ our Lord. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and errors of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, cast into hell, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Mary, Queen of Peace, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. O Sacrament Most Holy, Novena to St. Anthony, O glorious St. Anthony, safe refuge of the afflicted and distressed, who by a miraculous revelation has directed all those who seek aid to come to thy altar with the promise that whoever visits it for nine consecutive Tuesdays will fill the power of thy intercession. I, a poor sinner, encouraged by this promise, and with a firm hope, I implore thy aid, thy protection, thy counsel, and thy blessing. Obtain for me, I beseech thee, my request in this necessity. But if it should be opposed to the will of God in the welfare of my soul, as shall be conducive to my salvation through Christ our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Pray for us, O blessed Anthony. Let us pray, Almighty and Eternal God, who didst glorify thy faithful confessor Anthony with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that we confidently seek through his merits. We may surely receive through his intercession through Christ our Lord. To the infant Jesus in the arms of Saint Anthony, O Jesus, my Savior, 
Buddhist vow safe in the form of an infant, I implore thee through the love thou didst bear to this saint when he dwelt on earth. St. Anthony, our patron and our advocate. St. Anthony, powerful in word and work. St. Anthony, attentive to those who invoke thee. St. Anthony, glory of the church in honor of the Franciscan order. St. Anthony, whom the infant Jesus so much loved and honored. Through the intercession of St. Anthony, whose relic I hold, may you be blessed today and always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit.